What's up, sports fam? This is T Word with the Mike Check Podcast. Thanks for tapping in. Today, we're going to talk about Deion Sanders and Colorado University and the transfer portal. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate the feedback. All right, so let's get into it. It seems that a lot of people outside of Colorado apparently are having concerns over Deion Sanders and players from Colorado that were there when he took the job back in December. Uh, they're transferring out of the program uh, at the moment there were or at the time of this recording there were roughly 46 players in the transfer portal from Colorado alone the closest school was Arizona State with 29 um, the power five average is 16 so he's 17 above the highest and he's 30 transfers above the average for power five schools what this tells you is that he's trying to flip the roster now the transfer portal allows a roster flip to happen much quicker kind of like an nfl where coach comes in he gets rid of the coaching staff that was there he gets rid of a lot of players that was there and he tries to get his quote unquote guys in the building um prime has done the same thing now something of note is that of the players that are gone the remaining players under scholarship from 2022, there's only seven left. From 2021, there's four. 2020, there's four. In 2019, there's four. So that's a total of 19 guys left over. Now, what he's done instead is brought in 40 guys from Jackson State and other places from around the country to build how to build out his roster. Now, my concern here isn't so much that. The roster is being turned over. Um, in fact, I don't really have a concern at all. I, I think I have a bigger concern with the people who are pointing the finger at Dion and saying that because he won't give players their practice tape or their tape from the spring game, that there's something wrong with this. Now, let me ask you this. If you're a coach and you've got all of these new players that have come in and you know that the recruiting game has been revolutionized and changed over the last couple of years, would you be willing to take a chance of releasing some tape with not only the player in question who's transferring, but everybody around that player on the field? At any given time, there's 21 other dudes on the field. Do you want to allow that tape to escape the building, especially if they request it after they transfer? Now, some people will point to the fact that Dion encouraged players to go ahead and look into the portal. Um, which is kind of opposite of what he told guys at Jackson State and some of the other HBCUs. He told them, don't jump in the portal if you don't already have a home secured. On the flip side, he told guys at Colorado, I'm bringing my own luggage. I'm bringing my own players. So, you know, it ain't safe. So if you feel like your job might be in question or you know you're not here to do the work, then maybe you need to go ahead and jump in that portal as early as possible and find you another home. And guys have done that so if he already gave them a heads up way back when we're talking in december as soon as he got there he gave this speech on the heels of his uh celebration bowl loss that i'm bringing players with me i'm going to be recruiting openly and nobody's spot is safe go look for other opportunities if you're not going to buy into what we're doing here in a new version of colorado so to me i don't really have an issue with what's going on um i don't have an issue with that tape not getting release to those players if you didn't request it beforehand or if you knew you're going to transfer don't try to play in the spring game and then come back and ask for tape after you make an announcement we see your name pop up in the portal and it's been some marquee players a receiver had a great game in the uh spring game and then the next day he's in the portal within a few hours so he already had that plan on deck he already has to get the paperwork because if i'm not mistaken it takes about 72 hours before you actually populate in the portal where other coaches can see that you're available um that announcement that you do on social media has no bearing on what's officially your portal date so when you have this type of stuff going on it it is reason for concern i would say to some degree because we don't want to see college football get watered down to the point where dudes become one year rentals and they're hopping year for year. You know, you get to you get to transfer a couple of times, especially if there's a coaching change. So if you're sharp, you might find an opportunity, go somewhere, check it out. You don't like it. You go somewhere else. So. I don't have an issue with what's going on at. 
Colorado because I understand that he's brought in and he's under significant scrutiny because they gave him a lot of money. They gave him a five year window and he's got some escalators in his contract where in order to hit those numbers, he's got to go after, I believe, three years. They could just cut bait with him. Um, and then all the money that he'll supposed to make, he don't get it. So he's got to make something happen. This is a, a what one in 11 team last year. I mean, if you're the coach coming in and you have an opportunity to flip your roster, are you going to ride that 111 roster? Are you going to try to get you some dogs in there and make something happen? And we know that he's a great recruiter of talent. Um, obviously, he's got a pretty good eye for it because he did flip Jackson State really quickly. Even though it was HBCU, they still went from and also ran to a dominant team. So that tells you he knows what he's doing he's got smart people around him to make sure that they're able to execute what he wants to do and is continue to grow he's had success at each stop that he's been at and i expect colorado to be no different so we'd love to get your thoughts what do you think about this is this alarming to see this many jackson state players in the portal or is this what you would expect of a first year coach especially a high profile coach so this has been t for the mic check podcast don't forget to like comment and subscribe until the next time i'm out peace